Hey you with some of my stashes and welcome back to another wild video today I'm going to show you how to make some gold on new servers and also give you some great advice that I think is going to help a lot of y'all out as new players and even players who have been doing this for a while so that said guys let's get right into it Hold up All right, my mustachians, it's been another long week, and I do apologize for that, but I will say from here on out, you'll have a video up a week starting today, and that said, guys, there will be another code word in this video, so if you've been watching my videos, I do give away um, wild tokens every week if we reach a certain point. The last video did reach 1,000 plus views and 50 plus likes, which was amazing. If this video gets the same amount, we'll have the giveaway on Sunday like usual. Now, that said, guys, um, the other code word is going to be in this video so you got to go to the other one in the first video then here then you'll be entered into the giveaway now that's it too remember you got to be a subscriber i've had a few people who asked me if they had to and i said yes you have to you have to give a like to as well now that said let's get right into it so first off um as you know i am in a different server on proud more uh be honest with you i've been in medivh in exoder for a long long time I literally was there I was I maintained my gold value there and I started making a lot of gold from there that's where I made my gold as all of my tunes but I, st I started to think first off I wanted to get in the guild so I found a guild and I said you know what I gotta go to this, this server it's called Proudmore and to be honest with you what's called this guild was so cool and stuff really great to actually uh, raid with but I said why I can't bring all my gold. I can't bring everything I want, all my auctions and so forth. So I needed to find a way to make gold. Now, as you can see in this video, I'm actually um, showing you some basically either clips or screenshots. I don't know for sure, but it shows that I made already so much gold within a two day period. And you're probably, how did he do this? How did I make 220 K in about two days actually, and not even doing nothing. What first off the obvious thing you want to do when you actually move on to another server is bring the items that you most value like for instance stuff that's highly valued that you know that in any other server you'll sell them to as well because from what I was at it was actually a low low server and where I was going to was actually a high server pop server so it's gonna sell a lot more better but in turn you gonna want to find things that are actually not very common or rare you want some stuff that are very rare too you got to farm a long time to find these now if you have a lot of items like for instance I sold a grumpus which is actually the mount from Christmas for 80k might not sound a lot but that's actually a real quick sell on my server of Exoder and Medivh I could never sell that mount because there was so many people who had it and it's still a small server now that said guys that just goes into the value of basically is it very rare or if it's a one-time thing so forth now let's get right back into it that's not the only thing you need to remember remember that you could bring some gold with you so at least try to bring 50k or so forth I I brung about 40k I did I think there was still a restriction on the, the gold you can bring I don't know for sure if there was I do apologize if there's not because I didn't actually really check I just thought I just heard in the past that you can only bring a 50k so that's what I did either way I brung actually 40k not 50k I brung that made about 100 actually 190 well, no, an 180k actually out of all this compared to actually what I had already on me. Now, that said, I did sell pets, which is another thing you want to do too as well. You want to get into the, if you have pets on other servers and you already um, you have a stockpiled, make sure you learn the ones you can and put the ones in your bags that you can take with you if they're of value. I mean, the more harder they're to get, the more to actually put it out there. Some of this knowledge I'm telling you about gold making is this, this basics. Now, this will actually help a lot of new people, a lot of people who are actually transferring. Now, when you're transferring, a lot of y'all, I know a lot of y'all actually have a guild just because for the storage. And you're like, hey, I'm going to, what do I do with all this stuff? Well, you're going to have to send that to your ult. You're going to have to actually give the leadership over to your ult. If you don't, then you're gonna, just going to lose all your stuff. So what I suggest to you this, okay, is take all the rare and hard regiments that you have, that you have, okay, and put it inside your bags and don't you know get just give the whole thing over to your ult, okay don't get just like throw it away don't just like try to sell it because it's going to take a while because if you haven't sold it all now on your server it's going to take a little bit now that said when am i when i mean rare i don't mean cloth silk and so forth and everything i mean stuff like that it takes a little bit like say you only get like five to ten hours so forth like that you want to take that stuff with you because there could be high more valued on your on the server that you're at now that said that's for the items and regiments that's for anything that you're going to do like for instance i think i sold a few uh, boes from um the nighthold on this server prod more faster than i actually sold in there now 
on my server that I'm actually here on, Prodmore, I honestly think that enchanting is one of the best uh, best things you can do because all my enchanting stuff has sold. Yes, they just sold like candy. So look at your research your guy, uh, your basically your server, not your guy or, or girl, whatever you're playing. But research your server you're going to. Go to Undermine Journal. Look at your stuff that you got to do, and you'll find out what's really selling on a server. So it will make you actually choose what you want to bring with you because the more the stuff that you want to sell needs to be able to be people that actually want it in the market so if you didn't want if they don't want it and if it's something that a lot of people already have then you're not going to sell so just make sure you do research on the undermine now that's it guys let's get on to the next segment i don't want to mess up this little clip so let's get on to that all right i'm a stash so the code word is mac and cheese okay mac and cheese all right so basically let's get right into it first off i want to talk about is basically what i'm doing in the background i've been doing this in the background since the beginning of the video and you're probably wondering okay why am i looking at throne of thunder for the 15 million time on this guy's channel and there's a reason for this, okay? When you actually transfer to a server, you need to find a way to make more gold, okay? Now, you could go farm dungeons, which I'm going to show you in the uh, in coming up videos. I'm going to show you what the best dungeons to run. Like, I do have a series called um, Versus Series, which is going to be resurfacing pretty soon. And I think a lot of y'all like that because it showed you which dungeons to actually farm. Now, the thing is, when you transfer, let's say you don't have that much stuff, or even if you do, you want to come do these raids. And the reason why you want to go do these raids, like always, I've told you, is that there's a lot of gold in it. And the gold is mainly the pets and the gold value of raw gold. Now, if you actually did all Catalyst dungeons, you can get around 10,000 10, gold. And then basically, if you did um, all of the, the Mr. Panda dungeons, which you can in high levels, you can do all of them. Now, I've heard one YouTuber a while, while back that, um, was, what, that he was going over all the uh, mythic raids not a mythic but the uh, heroic raids 25 on mr panda in a ptr at like i level eight something it was like high i level and he, he couldn't even get past like a certain boss and he would say this is not gonna be doable until the end of legion well we're not at the end of legion and i can do it okay like nothing and i think a lot of y'all can do it too as well there's a lot of classes who can heal way better than my DK can and can do way better than I can. And the purpose of me telling you this is do it, guys. Do Heroic 25 Mr. Panda raids. It is worth it. And to be honest with you, from that 10k catalyst you can get from, then if you go in and do this around here too as well, you're going to be almost looking at 20k gold by the time you're done with it. Yes, it might take you all day, but 20k gold is 20k gold. If you could do that every day with each tune, let's say you have five tunes, that's 100k a week. That can just get you going fast. Now, I know that that's not like something a lot of people want to do because they don't have the time, but at least do the Mr. Panda, um, uh, Heroic 25, Throne of Thunder, and at least some of the cats, and you'll be fine. You'll probably be at like around 6 to 7k a day, or actually a week, just by doing that. And you'll have a chance of getting um, basically pets, which sucks because Mr. Panda is the star of when they, were, they put um, basically pets inside raids. Then Wad, uh, Wad they kind of slowed that down. They only did one raid. Actually, there's like, I think maybe two raids. I don't know for sure. I, I remember is a Hellfire Cathedral that actually had a raid that actually had one but that's only like 5,000 gold now because anybody can do it they were looking for a raid which you can go check out right here guys I did a whole video saying is wad looking for raid dungeons or just raids worth it and you'll be surprised of what the outcome now that said guys let's get back into talking about this now the thing is is that I make gold a lot of ways and a lot of people want to know how to make gold fast as you can tell first week I got in here got in on Tuesday Thursday I made about 220,000 gold Real quick, okay? That's really good. I mean, yes, there's some uh, gold farmers out there who probably say, I can make a million gold a week, which is, you know, not everybody can. The whole purpose of me telling you this is because the average Joe can't make a million gold a week. You just can't, okay? So I try to show you ways to actually make the gold. So, like, the average gold, okay? Now, for instance, if you have time, still do the BOE trash farms if you have a team of people who can go to mythic that would be great like I heard that um, when on my server there's a lot of prod more people who could actually group up who it's like a big server so I mean with the bigger server you have the bigger the bigger better chance a pug group of mythic would just be doing trash which if you can that's the best but if not get in a heroic pug group and just trash it you know just go through the first is the first part of the dungeon or if you have a heroic uh, lockout up to spellbinder or past spellbinder and just didn't kill crash do all that because you know the BOEs are still going for a lot now there's other ways you can make gold guys you can do uh, you know world quest you could do basically the dailies for the, the the boxes the catches all that but the sufficient way is of doing it 
is doing it whenever there's professions that are dominating the server, okay? That a lot of people want because this is just something they want for that server. For the server of Prodmore, I've noticed, and this is just my server talking about them, a new server, is basically enchanting. Enchanting, 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 enchanting. And I've actually made so many enchanting stuff, I'm hoping to all sell, which I think they will sell. And I noticed that there's less a binding of strength than there is of intelligence and of basically agility. So I'm going with strength a little bit more just to get that market. Now, that's it, guys. Um, this is just something I wanted to uh, share with y'all because I thought maybe that if you're transferring or if you're a new player, don't feel down if you're not making the gold. Go do some raids. Go do some dungeons. Get some get those pets that you've got from other, you know, other servers and sell them. Now, I know there wasn't ways of showing you other than like telling you how to make gold. I didn't show you a spot and I do apologize for that, but I will have a spot out Sunday and it will have the winner of the wow token if this reaches a thousand views and 50 likes. Like I said, the reason why I asked for that is because I want to see if my channel is still getting support, which is pretty amazing that it is. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a certain thing, so if, you're, if you have any certain spots that you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. I know this video is pretty long and a lot of y'all probably think it was ranting, but it wasn't. It was actually more of just, you know, helping y'all out. And it's not always about that one spot because I do show you a lot of spots and a lot of stuff's coming up and I'm going to show you. But you can't see this stuff unless you subscribe, you actually comment. You know, not, not really comments, more about subscribe and bell. If you actually hit that bell, then you'll know that I actually uploaded it every day. Or, you know what, I you know I do apologize, I haven't uploaded every day, but you'll notice that I will be uploading every day. So hit that bell, hit that subscribe, give a like, maybe even comment, guys, and have a chance to win that wild token. And as always, stay stashing. So, you made it to the end. You were watching the new outro. You're probably like, wow! blown mind everywhere you're probably in outer space right now because it's so cool so much animation go wait a minute wait a minute this is not the new outro right oh wait oh it's still not here